All right, so the one with the Hebrew Israelites coming week in and week out, the pumps are the downfall and destruction of America, Babylon, and Great. Tell you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, that you the true biblical Israelites according to the Bible, that it's time for you to wake up. It's a high time to wake up out of sleep, okay? Because our salvation is there than we believe, okay? It's time for you Israelites to repent, all right? Israelites consist of so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, uh, Seminole Indians, West Indians, Haitians, and also you confusing the faith Israelites that may look like the other nations, speak the tongues of the other nations, that's born in the land of the other nations. But if your spirit resonates uh, with the Holy Scriptures and all true faith and sincerity, more than likely you're an Israelite. Okay? So, uh, uh, uh we're gonna start off. Oh, lock up. We're going to start with giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace to tell you, take your brothers from the four corners of the earth, preaching the word and also laboring in the word of truth, love, and sincerity, and may blessings fall upon the houses that are one third. And uh, who we just, you know, who we just gave all praise, honor, and glory to is the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh. Okay? And his only begotten Son, that's why we say Ba'ashem in the name of who the world only calls Jesus Christ. The true name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, our holy tongue, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai in our tongue. So, but with that, Romans 10 and 1. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Right? Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel right. is that they might be saved. Right there, stop. Paul, Apostle Paul said he made a prayer and it was in a desire for who? For Israel that they might be saved. So right there, that cuts out when they say, well, Paul is the other nation. No, it's not. Because now you're saying Paul will be a hypocrite. No, Paul went and spoke to the uh, Israelite foreigners, which are also known as Gentiles. Okay, because they were following the ways of the different Gentiles. That's why they're being called that. But in fact, they were Israelites. Read that again. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Right. Brethren, yeah. my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel. For who? For Israel uh -huh. is that they might be saved. That they might be saved. Go ahead. <laughs> for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Now, so we're going back to what you were saying, bro. Our people do got a zeal for the Heavenly Father, but it's not according to knowledge. It's not according to the scriptures. Our people make up their own God through their own fantasy. You know, that's what Christianity comes in, you know? And that's why, and even our Lord Yahweh Shah, what do they say? When, when, they, when you bring out something in the scriptures and they, they don't like it and it wasn't how they were taught and it, and it, and it uh, doesn't resonate with their Christianity because they got Stockholm Syndrome, what do they say? Not my Jesus. Well, what do you mean, not your Jesus? This is not the, the, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is not a, a, a building, a building, Yahweh Shah. You know, only one. So when we say, well, the Lord's coming back to do destruction, not my Jesus. Well, what do you, what do you mean? See? But see, when they say that, what are they talking about? See, this is what they're talking about right here. Because this is what they truly believe in. They might not try to admit it, but they believe in this image and everything that comes with this image. You see? Peace, love, always. Do whatever you want. Go against the Holy Scripture, and I'll still love you. This is what this image comes with. But then on top of that, the people that uh, painted this image, right? They use this image to, to shed blood on our people with Christianity, Catholicism, right? The different religions they made up. They use this image to force bloodshed upon our people. But then turn it back and say, you know what? We want y'all to believe on them too. I've got him went throughout the whole planet Earth shedding blood with his enemy. Come on, man. Right, and see, Esau had pulled such a Jedi mind trick on our people, if you don't know what that is. Basically, he deceived our people to such a high degree, and he deceived you, you, uh, you, you other nations with that false Christianity to the point now where a Christian, a so-called Christian, will come up and say, I know that's not the true image. I know that's not. But you know what they taught you? That the Most High and the, and his, and the Messiah can be what you need him to be. Ooh. They taught, they taught you that his characteristics can meet how you feeling at that particular moment. Right. That is a damn lie, man. That's a lie. But that's why our people will, uh, will believe that, man. Mm -hmm. That's why you can show them that that's not the image, but they'll still say, not my Jesus. Yeah, he, he wasn't white, but not my Jesus. He got his own characteristics, man. And his name's not Jesus. It's Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Okay? He has his own ways. 
you have to conform to those. He don't conform to you. But that's what that's what you're taught in Christianity, yeah. that he is what you need him to be mm -hmm. in that moment. That's madness, man. Yeah. That's why you got homosexual Christians and gay pastors. Mm -hmm. But the scriptures tell you clearly against that. Yeah. But because your mind is warped, you've been seared with a hot iron, you believe that he is what I need him to be, when I need him to be it. That's gonna get you fucked up, man. Okay. Yeah, right, right, right. And yeah, and he's saying people, you know, because the, like, the brother just used rude speech, right? But these same people would say, well, those are curse words. How can you use the Bible and, and, and say curse words? Well, if you knew words, the brother didn't say a curse word. A curse is the uh, opposite of bless. So if you say, man, I hope you go, uh, you pray, you try, you, you hope and wish somebody go hit by a bus, right. that's a curse. Right. You know, you, when you put, uh, uh, when you send evil, when you send evil upon someone, or evil spirit upon someone, that's a curse. Well, the brother just said it's rude speech. But y'all Christians will condemn the brother for saying rude speech, but then say, well, uh, uh, if you feel, or no, they'll say, well, if you curse, you're going to go to hell and burn forever. But you could be a homosexual. That's complete madness. Right. I like the, I like the, uh, like the brother, but not the Zach, but the beloved brother, the elder out there in South Carolina, like he uh, put so eloquently in his live stream. Christians will teach you that you can break the law, you can eat pork, do all these other different things, and that you'll be forgiven and be saved. But then they say, oh, if you cuss, you're gonna burn in hell for eternity. What type of backward shit is that, man? You know, excuse my length. I got let me get a precept. Second John 2, verse 9. It says, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Amashiach, have not the most high. He that abideth in the doctrine of, of Amashiach. He have both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house. He that bid him God speed. For he that abideth, for he that abideth him God speed is partaker of his evil deeds. So a part of the doctrine is the thing that we were saying. You know, part of this doctrine is born into the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, uh, love thy neighbor as you love thyself. You know, uh, love, love the heaven is the first one of God. Love the heavenly Father with all thy uh, believers, probably paraphrasing, with all thy soul, with all thy heart, with all thy might, all thy strength, yeah. so to speak. And love thy brother as you love thyself, man. Hey, if you love your brother as you love yourself, you see him committing wicked acts, right? Back up just a little bit. Yeah. You see a brother committing wicked acts, what do you do? You rebuke that brother. You admonish that brother. You correct that brother and say, bro, you're going off, bro. You can't be doing what you're doing, bro. You, the Lord's going to jack you up. That's true love. You know, but if you don't say nothing, you just like, I'm just letting him do what he do. See, that's what people, our people do now. Oh, no, nah, just let, let them do what they do. You're literally watching the people be destroyed. Now, there's nothing you can do about it, but as far as all you have to do is, if you're a prophet, your job is to come out here and teach and to warn your people. You can get the blood off your hands. Somebody get that, uh, Ezekiel 3. Once you get the blood off your hands, your job is done. You ain't got to keep going back and forth with each other anymore, man. They know what time it is when they shoot you. Right, but that's um, Right, right. That shows you the hypocrisy of Christianity, right? Because they teach you that love is tolerance, okay? But really, when you tolerate and you don't and you don't want to offend nobody in correcting them, you really, uh, you really hate them because you're allowing them to go in their wickedness, which is going to lead to their destruction, man. So your form of love, which is tolerance and, and politically correctness and not offending nobody, is really hate, man. If you open rebuke is better than secret love. Well, I love you in my heart. But, you know, so I'm not going to offend you by telling you you shouldn't worship idols or eat pork or smoke, you know. That you, I'm not going to tell you to repent because that's not politically correct. So I'm going to show you love from my heart. Over rebuke is better than secret love, man. That's how you love somebody, by chastening them, man. Uh, Isaiah 58. Yeah, and part of this doctrine, every single part of this doctrine, you know, is this whole role. It's all part of the doctrine, man. But I want to go back to Romans 10 and 1 because I want to hit a few points. Romans 10 and 1. You still got the idea of this now? So yep. I can read the brother. Yep. All right, Romans 10 and 1. Or oh, wherever you at? Yeah, this is Romans chapter 10. Uh, we, were, we left off at verse 2. Yeah. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Right. Verse 3. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness. They being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, which we can read that in the scriptures. Go ahead. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Like backing up with the brother saying, man, they try to uh, uh, have uh, Yahweh Shah conform to their way and to their mindset or their methods. Read that part again. 
Uh, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness uh -huh. and going about to establish their own righteousness. Being ignorant, not knowing. Go ahead. Uh, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Yeah, see, our people haven't submitted themselves to the righteousness of the Most High. So going into what you were saying, you know, our people do have to deal for the Most High, but it's not front to knowledge. And then they also, uh, with it being that, they also don't submit themselves to the ways of the true righteousness of the Most High, but to their own standards, I mean, but to their standards only. You know, like they say, uh, well, I believe that, you know, going righteousness of the Most High is feeding the homeless, walking old people upon the street, you know, just being an upstanding citizen, not going a particular thing to people. Which, that, that is okay. That's cool. We're not knocking that. But the righteousness of the Most High is following these scriptures, man. Right? Following the ways that they haven't followed once again. Uh, I think that you, you, you focus 13, but we come. No, you done with that. You said you focus 13, I guess. But, uh, okay. Nah. Yeah, yeah, and what I was going to say was, see, belief, a belief in itself in a, is an action. But belief also dictates your actions, okay? So when you believe something, you uh you, you act accordingly because you said they believe. Yep. You said no, a lot of them believe, but no. If they actually believe according to the truth, then it would show in their actions. Yep. Okay? Yep. What they believe is false. Okay? Yep. They believe, so therefore, as a man thinketh in his heart, so shall he be. So if you think you can do these different things, you're at liberty to do them, you're gonna do them. Okay, good. And that's that's a good point because because you are tight and you believe that you can do all these manners of wickedness and on your deathbed or when you're about to pass, you can say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me. You know what I'm saying? They say all that madness, but what they call it, the sinner's was prayer. The sinner's was prayer ain't nowhere in the Bible, bro. You can't do that. The Lord don't work like that. You can do wicked, you can be, you can be 80 years old and you about to die. You, you, you got the point where you know you about to die. You can say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Yeah, you lived your whole life on wickedness. And you tell me at your last second on your death hill, you be deathbed, you be praying, the Lord be forgiven. Man, come on, man. That's crazy. That's mad. Yeah, they be praying that prayer because they think they're going to hell. So they think they're going to a dimension where they're going to burn forever. Yeah, that's, yeah, right. Hell, that's madness too. You go burn, the Lord, man. Right, hey, bro. I just, man. Right, the sinner's prayer. The brother be saying sinister, but it is sinister, man. Because you really think that you're doing something, you're doing wicked. Right. Isaiah 6 and 9. Yeah. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Uh -huh. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Now, like we were saying before, that's that spiritual block on our people. Right. You see? So. They're all, their ears got made fat, right? They said the ears fat? Yeah, yeah, make the, uh, make the heart of these people fat. Make the heart of these people fat, right? And the ears what? Heavy. Make their ears heavy, see? So they got that spiritual block on them. They can't get this understanding of the scripture. Why? So it says what? So they want what to be healed? So they, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So that, that scripture right here shows you yeah, the Lord does not don't want everybody. That's right. Because he says convert and be healed. When you convert and what? You're coming back to the Heavenly Father. When you convert. And you're going to be healed. And we know we're healed by the stripes of the child. Okay? But two thirds of people are not. You don't want them to convert and be healed. That's why he put that spiritual block on them. So when you see so many people can't understand the truth, they're like, why? Like, how can't they see it? You see all these different things happening and you just sitting there like, Y'all can't see this? Then you tell them, you break it down to them, and sometimes you might think they understand, and then some of them ain't listening, and he's just like, oh, it'll be, it'll be two days from now, and you'll talk to them again, and he's like, they didn't understand nothing I, just, I told them. They right. just went one air and out the window. Right. You know? And they reading it with you, you might be breaking it down with them, but it's like they can't see, you know? And every brother do it coming into the truth. We all go to our families, we all go to our close friends, and we be like, yo, bro, we the Israelites, the Lord is the so-called black man, the Heavenly Father, so-called black man, right? The world's gonna be destroyed. He saw the of slavery for all the things that they done to our people. The other nations are gonna be subjected. The kingdom of heaven is for us. You know, so we start to learn all these beautiful things that we were taught by, oh, they taught us the opposite. Right. So when you start to learn the truth, you're like, oh, you can be happy, you're like, oh yeah. So you go off and start telling your people. Yeah. But then you realize, hold on. Per, per, well, that's wonderful persecutions are coming. 
then you realize, why, why are they getting it? Why are they coming? Why are they coming against me? Why are they getting it? I don't understand. I thought this was, I thought this was something doing for that. I thought people wanted to get. Why ain't they oh, happy man. like me? You what? got it. Yeah, why? You got it? Yeah, oh, right. hey, that's the spirit. Yeah. You, right. you ask them, like, why ain't they happy like me? Why ain't they jumping for joy for this, man? You would yeah. think that finally having this truth revealed unto them right. would, 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 would spark something inside them to just, you know, uh, give them this motivation to, man, I want to know more. What else is there that I've been lying about? Right. How else can I come to this true understanding? Go well, ahead, bro. Son, this is Romans chapter 11, verse 7. Yeah. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. What is our people seeking for? The truth. Right. That's why our people is in all, like you said in the beginning, our people is into witchcraft, our people is into worship of Satan, our people is into all these different philosophies, our people is in all these different religions. And a lot of them jump from religion to religion because they still stay like, listen, okay, this ain't it. Let me go to this. This ain't it. Where is it at? You know, they're looking for the truth. They're trying to understand of, why are we in this condition? How are we going to get out of this condition? What's next? What's not perfect? You know? What's, like, what's really going on in the world? You know? But, we, but it's all here. It's all in front of our face. The Holy Scripture. You know? It's all. Everything that we needed to know is right here. And who would ever thought that? Who would ever thought? Me at being 28 years old, coming, coming out on the highways and valleys, preaching the word of the Heavenly Father. Never in a million years that I thought I would be here doing this, but we all know this is the, uh, the heavenly. Uh, this is a uh, uh, of the heavenly Father's work, yes, man. or of the heavenly Father's uh, ordeal. God, this is all spiritual. spiritual. You know how many Bibles I grew up around and never realized right. the power that was in them. Right. Never right. realized that the, the code to life was in that book on that mantle then or you, in that bookshelf. Then you just read it and you just like, okay, all right. Well, now this is okay, boring. Cool. But you know, when you because why we were taught that this was attached to another nation, but it really belongs to us. You know what? Oh my God! I got this flowing all through my head. Uh, give me uh, Baruch, Baruch three verse four. Finish that. Finish that. All right. Uh, uh, Romans eleven chapter seven. Uh -huh. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeking for, right? But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And the rest were blinded. Then you start to understand, oh, the Lord blinded our people. So only a, a remnant of our people are going to understand and get this truth. And the Lord blinded the rest. Man. You know? Go ahead. Uh, verse 8. According as, according as it is written, the Most High have given them a spirit of slumber. A what? A spirit of slumber, uh -huh. eyes that they should not see, in ears that they should not hear until this day. Mm, that spiritual blocking. So then you start to realize, it's like, you know what? Okay, they can't understand. They can't get it. All right, maybe I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just start talking to people for a minute. I ain't even gonna deal. You know? Go ahead. Oh, I got you. Try to go ahead. Uh, verse nine. And David saith, "Let their table be made a snare uh -huh. and a trap and a stumbling block yeah. and a recompense yeah. unto them." Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back all way. Yep, you see? So just going into back of them as they pick them up. You know, that's spiritual blocking on our people. You know, and only the elect, a small remnant, is going to understand this truth wholeheartedly. And stick with it in the book of the That's it on that. Give me, uh, the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 3. Right. Give not thine honor to another, uh -huh. nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. You got the 16 and 11, brother? Okay, all right. Uh, yeah, it's all good. You can also follow along in the 16 James version online. Click on the Apocrypha at the top. Right, because uh, the, the Apocrypha is in the middle of our uh, old and new. So Baruch, okay, go ahead, bro. Baruch, chapter 4, verse 3. Right. Give not thine honor to another, Brought the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. Right, see, this, this book is of uh, um, 2 Peter 1 and 16. 2 Peter 1 and 16. This, 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 this our, our Bible, this book is profitable unto us. But yet, our people do what? They give it to the other nation. They're like, you know what? You take that. That, that, that's y'all book. That's y'all book. Y'all keep that. Y'all belong to us. You know? Or they're like, you know what? This book is for all of us. No, 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 it's not. 
This book is for us only, man. See? But when it got in the hands of the nation, what did they do? They used the, they used the power of this book. They used the power of this book to destroy us you know, with our own book. Because they knew how much power lies in it. And they know how much our people cling to this book. That's why it's easy to destroy this book because we already spiritually cling to it. But they're cleaving to it without understanding it. And we got the understanding, understanding, so we're teaching our people to cleave to it the, the, the correct way. Hold that. You got that uh, profitable correction and reproof? All right, no, you said second Is it second Peter 1 and 16? Right, just like the brother was saying, though, just to back him up, that's why in Isaiah 30 it says, they cover with the, go to the rebellious children. They cover with the covering, but not of me, okay? And then, uh, it's another one, you said something else too about not covering with his spirit, okay? So they get their own interpretation of it. And, 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 and uh, they, they're covered with that rather than the true cover of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh That's correct. That's correct, bro. Uh, right. Go ahead, bro. Keep reading. Okay, okay. All right. Baruch 4 and 3 again. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we. For the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. Okay? So we're happy. Why? Because the Most High gave us the keys to the kingdom. He gave us the keys to the castle, not these other nations. You know, but our people who don't have the true understanding of the keys are constantly trying to give it to another nation. Oh, see? Yeah, look at the promises that's coming. Look, look at the Messiah. He died for, for us, which is talking about the nation of Israel. But they try to include everybody else too. Give not what is profitable unto thee, which is the law, statutes, and commandments, in the way to live in this world. Don't be trying to go and give that to everybody else. That's what the scripture is telling you. Happy are we, because we know what, what's pleasing to the Most High. These other nations don't know what's pleasing to the Most High. Matter of fact, you know what that scripture is? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk where I can get it, where it says, uh, He have not dealt so with another nation. Uh, that song, uh, yeah, that song, 148. Uh, I think it's 149. 149. Yeah, because the scriptures tell us, man, like, like I just read in Baruch chapter 4, verse 4, O Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. And that's the precept to that too, right there. All right, this is Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. Right. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, right. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any, with any, any nation. nation and as for his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Why? Because he showed us love by giving us the way to live upon this earth. He didn't give that to these other nations. And these other nations don't care to know that. You know, we can, we can push the information out all day. But they are, right now, they have liberty to do with you. Okay? Like we was bringing out last week, these other nations can do the things that are clearly against the law. And, and they will thrive and live. You know, they'll live on the old age. But let a so-called black Latino or Native American do the same thing. Swift does it from the point. You know? They can go eat rat, rat, cat, rattlesnake, dog, whatever. But let you eat that shit. You're gonna come back with the plague, gangrene, cancer, high blood pressure, or, you know, whatever it is. You gotta get lumps taken out your body wax because that's not for you. You weren't created to do that. So happy are we for the things that are pleasing unto the most high are made known unto us. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Why? Because the judgments ain't being executed upon them. They're being executed upon you. They're going to get theirs later. they being reserved for their judgment. You're going to get it until the day this place go. Because why? There's another precept. Amos uh, 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. Yeah. Read that Second Peter. Read that Second Timothy 3, 16. This is Second Timothy chapter uh, 3, verse 16. Yeah, so we're going into how these scriptures are profitable into what? Go ahead. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for God. Place about to be destroyed. I cut the cigarettes out, man. All right, bro, you an Israelite. Repent, bro. All right, bro. Second Peter chapter three, verse sixteen. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine. Profitable for what? Doctrine. For reproof. Reproof. That's correction. For correction. Oh, here it goes. Uh, for instruction in righteousness. Instruction in righteousness. Now, when we started out, we were talking about the righteousness of the Most High. Not our people going about their own way to establish their own righteousness. See? Because they really think that they're going to be delivered behind that madness. Well, I didn't know we were taught wrong. That, that, that don't mean anything. Because guess what? We out here on the streets now, 
some way, shape, or form, you came across the Eden Israelite. You rejected it because you didn't like the message because you got Stockholm Syndrome and you love your pastor so much, you rather listen to his madness and listen to the truth. You see? Or you see us on the corner, oh, them young boys, they can't know nothing. I've been on the earth longer than them. So you think you got it. Okay, we're going to see if you got it then. When all hell break loose, which is coming to America, Babylon, and Great, you're going to be a part of it. You see? And the Lord ain't sparing. He ain't sparing old people. He ain't sparing kids, beautiful women, a military men. He ain't sparing it. No respect to person. No respect to person. Right. And you know that the truth is getting out, too. Because I don't know if you brothers came across it, but they, they got these things called memes, right? Where they make a picture and they put words next to them, right? They got this meme that I've been seeing a lot lately. Um, they got, okay, when the Power Rangers was wearing their ninja uniforms, they say, this is when the Power Rangers went through their black people Israelite state. They mocking the prophets, man. And it's getting out there, man. You know? And people are reposting that shit to their page. They getting judged, man. Relationships is failing all type of shit, man. And worse is coming for mocking the men of the Lord, man. Go ahead. Man. You, got some, you got some more on that? Uh, Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is a little more. Uh, verse, verse 17. Matter of fact, lock it, bro. Start at 15, bro. 15? No. 14. 14. 14. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned uh -huh. and hast been assured of, right? Knowing of whom thou hast learned them, right? Verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures and are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay, one, one second, sister. So let me say this real quick. So the uh read it again one more time. One second. Verse 15. Yeah. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. Uh -huh. uh, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. Man. You gotta have that wisdom and understanding. Man. You know, the Holy Spirit got to be put upon you, but also the Lord got to be dealing with you. You got to have that the wab in the Hebrew meaning except from judgment for you to be to gain that salvation, ultimately. Oh, so we're reading about uh, reading the truth of the, of the Holy Bible. Let our, letting our people know that, you know, we are the biblical Israelites. We're not Negro, we're not African. I've been over that. Like, we're the biblical Israelites. We're the true chosen people of the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 12. You know, and it's time for other people to repent and return to the true Heavenly Father with true name the hour. Not God. And turn to who the world is because Jesus Christ. Or who the world is because Jesus Christ the true name is the hour that. Which is the so-called black, would be considered the so-called black man today. Whether you time when you were growing up, what's your age about? Okay, so you were taught as well as us that he's the so-called white according to the Bible, we know he's a man of color. He would be our cousin. And he's coming back to save our people from the conditions that they're in. But only the elect of our people will be saved on this half, the ones that repent, return to the heavenly father and the only God. The rest of our people that want to see Jesus is wicked, they will be destroyed. They are in America, Babylon, and Greece. How do you feel about that? Because we were given his wings. 
Yeah, this is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Yeah. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. All these people on this time. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, uh -huh. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. There, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Go ahead. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquity. So I'm going to jack y'all up because I know you. Now, this is the right? Okay, so if this is the son, Okay, and his friend come over, and he said, all right, I know not to write on the wall. But his friend come over, his friends are writing all over the walls, and they doing it together. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, where they are, where they say, what well, you know, some of the things that all black parents say, you know, and they give you the little, the little skit, and the white boy is like, yeah, yeah, I, my mom lets me, my mom lets me lock my doors, and then you know, you lock your door. I told you don't lock the doors in my house. Well, Billy's mom let. I don't give a damn what Billy mom say. <laughs> we were given certain rules that we should follow, and because we've broken them, most eyes punishing us till this day. Right. All right, and until this place is destroyed, we're gonna be under those curses. Yeah. So the only way to be possibly covered is to repent, come back to your true heritage, follow the the law thing you can do in the middle Okay? You know, don't eat pork, shrimp, lobster, crab, don't smoke. You see, thus saith the Bible. So this place is going to be going up in flames. Right. If you don't repent, you're going to die with America, Babylon, the Great, the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's true. Simple as that. I had pork in the Beautiful point. Beautiful point. Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. Now, how you said simple as that. Give me, uh, 2 Chronicles 15 and 13. Now, you said simple as that, right? Other people would have been like looking at us and you like, y'all crazy. You crazy? What you mean simple as that? How? How is that possible? You know? Why? Because they're going back to not knowing the scripture. So, a lot of stuff that these people blurt out. Don't even be in the Bible, and when they do quote something from the Bible or recite it, they have no clue what it's speaking of. Or something real small, but they'll cut out the rest, right? You know? Like that, like uh, God's gonna love the world. And you know what? That's the spirit, because guess what? I was going to say it, but then I stopped because I didn't feel like going into it, but right. since you said it, we're going into it. John 3 16. Go ahead, bro, read that. We're going to go into it. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 13, uh, verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation uh -huh. through faith, in which, uh, which is in uh, Hamashiach Yahushua. Yep, because the scripture is saying Isaiah 33 and 6. Uh, knowledge should be the stability, uh, wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy time. And, and the strength of salvation. And, and, and the what? And the strength of salvation. And the strength of salvation. And that's what he was reading earlier too. Shall make you wise unto salvation. Man. Man. I want to bring that out, but hey, it came out later. Right. Go ahead, bro. Huh. Uh, verse 6, verse 16. Uh, right. Verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High uh -huh. and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. Instruction in righteousness. Go ahead. Verse 17. That the man of the Most High may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Truly furnished, man. And right now, you are seeing us being a... Uh, 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 we've been made, we've been like trying to refine. That's what I'm gonna say. Is how we're right. being refined right now. You know, going through the uh, different adversities, the Lord is cleaning us up, having us go through these different afflictions and trials, and say, is, is He going to stick with me within and without? You know what I'm saying? Just like we as army, you my comrade. I don't even want to say that because I don't even like that. Anymore. But hey, anyway, this is the army of the Lord. This is the army of the Lord. True, true, soldier. You got a soldier, you got a squad of soldiers, you can't trust the soldier, you don't want to be with him. If you ain't got the one watching your right, your, 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 your right, your left, your back, your front, you like, hey, that's true. You got to pick somebody else to go on the battlefield with you. Oh, I ain't going with him. Can I be in the 
All right, let's um, let's go to uh, you don't okay, let's go to John 316. That's spirit. John 316. We're gonna grab all the precepts of John 316. Because this is the most quoted scripture in the Bible and the least understood. That's the spirit right. the last time. Bring this lesson out two times and it didn't work. That means it's gonna come out anyway. Everybody knows John 316. Well, no, everybody thinks they know John 316, but they don't. Oh my goodness. See indeed, but perceive is not, man. Right, right. Brother got John 3, 16? Yes, sir. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. Right. For, for God so loved the world. Stop. Uh, what world is it talking about? Is that the whole world? Nope. No. See, you people don't look up words so you don't know. That's not the whole world. You got it? Yeah. Bring it out. That word for world in the Greek, because you have to go back into the Greek and the Hebrew in order to understand the scripture. You got to do what? You got to go back into the Greek and the Hebrew in order to understand the scripture. Go ahead. All right. The word in the Greek for uh, world is cosmos, right? Uh, birth, uh, the, the first definition here is in an apt and harmonious arrangement or constitution, order, or government. Mm -hmm. Who's that government? That's Israel. Israel's that government. Israel's that harmonious arrangement of stories. Mm -hmm. you know? Go ahead. Uh, it says uh, ornament, decoration, adornment. That's that's the point that's right the point. there. That's the point. No, no. So that word world uh, in the Greek is cosmos. Now that means the whole world, it oh. would easily say oikimene. It would say oikimene. Oikimene is the whole world, but it don't say that. Because it ain't talking about the whole world. It's talking about the world of Israel. Oh, you think we lying? Isaiah 45 and 17. Isaiah 45 verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Israel what? Israel shall be saved in the Most High with an everlasting salvation. Right. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. We shall be a not ashamed and confounded what? World without end. World without end. Israel is that world, man. You see? Oh, we got more. Jeremiah 31 to 3. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3. Uh -huh. uh, the Lord has prepared. Start at 1. Start at 1 and, and jump to 3. Alright, this is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 1. Uh -huh. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be, will I be the power of all the families of Israel? You will be the power of the God of all the families of who? Of Israel. Go ahead. And they shall be my people. Woo. Right? Jump it down to verse 3. You have to read all I do. Okay. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Even of the sword found grace. Uh, Salakia. Even of. Salakia. Let me read that again. Jeremiah chapter hey, 31, verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Even Israel. When I went to, to cause them to to cause him to rest. Verse 3. The Lord hath appeared of old time unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with this everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Read that last part again. He says, What? I have loved thee with what? It says, uh, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee? Right, see, have I drawn thee? But I wanted to orbit on that on that word love, because when you read John 3 16, it's God for God so loved the world. So he loved the everlasting love is who? Israel. See? That world is Israel. The everlasting love is for Israel. And all the mercy, forgiveness, and sin is for Israel. No way around it. Uh, Acts 2 and 21. Hebrews 1 and 2. Ooh, I'll get it, I'll get that. Alright, I'm to 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 I'm Started one. The Most High, who has sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, right. have in these last days 
spoken unto us by his son, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. He made the what? The worlds. So there's many worlds. You see, there's many worlds. Just like now, you got the sports world, you got the animals world, you got the uh, music world. Yep. You know, all, there's all these different worlds. So same thing with the scriptures, there's many worlds. You know? But, yeah, yeah. order we arranged. Uh, what, 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 that was the one and two. Uh, whenever brother ready, I'll read it. No, I'm sure you come here. I'll read it. You get uh, definitely. I got the book of John 17, verse 9. The book of John 17, verse 9. So it says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So Jesus said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Well, what do that mean? Meaning he wasn't praying for everybody. You see, contrary to popular belief, he was not praying for everybody, man. Yeah, he died for the Israelites. You see, all Israelites should make it to the kingdom. As it's gonna say, all Israel shall be saved. But everybody's not gonna make it on this side. But to go back into it, he says, uh, I pray for them, I pray not for the world. See? So, who does he talk about he's praying for? Let's continue. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And, and now I am no more in the world, because these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thy own name, keep through thy own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are, meaning in agreement, right? While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Now, who was the Lord with? When he was on the scene, who was he walking with, brother? The disciples. He was walking with the disciples. That's who, that was his posse, you know? <laughs> his compadre. That's a beautiful point that you said that because I was I went to this word expecting it to say orthodox, but you know what it actually says? It actually says cosmos. And you know what? The scriptures also tell us, let not out a cry for these people, lift not up a prayer for these people. Why? Because two thirds got it. swift death and destruction. That's why in the next verse he said, them that you have given me. What does he say? Um, that they may be one as we are. Yeah, the ones that you have given me, right? Don't we right. say that? Yeah. Right. Uh, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost. But, this is how I tell you what it is. But the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. That's Judas. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. That was yeah, that's Judas. Right. That's right. Yeah. Verse 13. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. It's the same thing today. We are not of the world. You see, and the world hates us. Why? Because we, we talk to speak the truth. You know, we speak in uh, the words of Yahweh Bashi Yahweh This is what they truly hate. You know, they don't really hate us, so to speak. They hate the word, you know, but they hate the messengers too. You know, no, no, you're right. No, they do hate us because they hated the messengers right. as they hated the prophets back then. Yeah. You know, when the prophets. is not is, above his masters. Like, right. The prophets. They hate the word, they're going to hate the one that's speaking. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yup. Yep. Really, yep. this is really deep because how many times we talk about the world? Because there are different aspects to it. Because we're not of the world, or we should say the, the, the way that the rest of Israel is operating, okay? So we're not of that mindset. We don't follow a multitude to do evil, you see? We're, 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 we're taking that narrow path. So on that aspect, we're not of that orderly arrangement of that cosmos, the cosmos of Israel. We're not a part of that, and we're not a part of the world in general. Yeah. I got a quick preset. John 15, verse 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So if you, you call yourself a man of the Lord, you, you already get it down pat that the world is going to hate you. 
if you, if you if you consider yourself to be a man of God, a man of the Lord, a prophet, a believer, the world is going to hate you. See, because they hate the words of Yahweh Shemayah Shah. They hate anything that stands for righteousness and stand up for Yahweh Shemayah Shah. Psalms 94 and 16. Because we, we stand up in great boldness for Yahweh Shemayah Shah in his word. See, regardless of what comes comes to us. You know? I'll finish, I'll, uh, you got it? Uh-huh. I'll go read it. It's Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. Right. Who will rise up against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? The men of the Lord that he has set up. That's going to do it. These other people ain't going in. These Christians, they're not going in. Then these religions are speaking out against wickedness. But what are they doing? They are bracing it. And they're encouraging it. You know? They're encouraging, encouraging it. You know, to continue on. Continue on in, uh, during in sin. That's men. And our people do what? What they do? They applaud. They embrace it as well too. So back at John 17 verse uh, 14 again. John 17 verse 14. I have given, I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am of the world. Even at Salaka, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil they are not of the world even as i am not of the world sanctify them through thy truth thy word is truth see that's how the lord will sanctify this word see, the true baptism also comes by what this word this is how you get baptized this is how you get cleansed because this is the true living water you know this is what cleanses, cleanses your spirit verse uh 18 and as thou sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world, right? Uh, uh, apostle, uh, so like, yeah, apostle means uh, uh, sent, away. sent away. She said they were sent into the, uh, to the world to do the work of the Lord. You know? Verse 19, it says, And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through thy truth. Neither pray I for these alone. So not, not just for the disciples, who else? Right? Because people don't know this, there was way more disciples than just the twelve. That was just the head. Paul wasn't even another twelve. He wasn't even another twelve. You know, but he had a beautiful office. But there was more disciples before that. He had some that continued and some that fell out. You know, if you, if you read the scripture. Because uh, I believe when Yahweh died, yeah, Yahweh died, so we say He said, eat of meat, he said, eat of blood and flesh, and they thought he was being carnal, talking about really eating of his flesh and his blood. They, they, like, oh, no. they got offended. Yeah, they like, oh, no, hey. Yeah, they got offended. Yeah. I know, I know who you are. How you doing? I know. I remember. Yeah. See you. John 17, verse 20, it says, Neither I pray for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. See, so how are they going to believe on Yahweh? Yahweh, like, they never not heard of him. If we're not on the streets preaching, if we're not on the highways and byways, that's what we're commanded to be. How are they, they going to hear the word if we're not out here? People say, Oh, you don't got to come out in the streets. Yes, you do got to come. Yeah. I was still holding that, but uh, yeah. Matthew 22, uh, uh, Luke 14, 23. But you gotta come on these streets, man. It's just to kind of. You gotta come on these streets so you can come out. I'll read it again, then we're done with this one. John 17, verse 20. Neither I pray for. Romans 10. Romans 10 and 17. So 14. Yeah, you can bring whatever you got out. Don't block it, bro. You can do it, bro. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. See, so people are gonna believe. Hey, this this comes with the foolishness. This comes with the foolishness of preaching. You know? So the believers can fly, oh, they believe that. But it's also a stumbling block to the rest of the people because they like, well, they, 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 they don't know that. They don't know nothing. Look at them. They got beards. They ain't cutting, they ain't getting line up. They, they, they ain't looking up. We're not looking on. Um, Cause we're contrary, we're contrary to their way. We're contrary to the world. Yeah, we're not, we're not looking. We're, we're, we're rough around the edges. So they're just looking for things 
at us, you know? Because they want us to be, they want us to fit in with the world. They want us to say, you missing something here at the top, they want you with a ball head. You got a beard, they want it shaved with a five o'clock shadow. You know, where they want it real nice. You got a little mini fro or what we got, they want it to be all nice and clean. No, no, men in the Lord ain't gonna look like that. You see, men in the Lord ain't, but that's the foolishness of, of preaching. And that's what some of the block that has our people so cool. You know, even our vocabulary, different things, you know? Where it's like, nah, I ain't got the truth. But the Lord is dealing with the base men. The Lord is always dealing with the underdogs. That's the beautiful part about it. When you're underdogs and people are always talking stuff and you like, it's cool, I can't wait till I can record. You know, you like, how you little, right? Say you little and you got some plan with somebody like me and I'm just talking trash. Oh, you little, I'm a da 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 When you get on the court, you just, Ah, 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 ah. Breaking ankles. Breaking ankles, doing me away, doing stuff, hitting layups on me. I'm trying to block them, running all over the place. They're like, oh, he's an underdog. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I was a huge, big and bulky. Oh, oh. Was a short dude that had the hops, you dunking on him like, who was yeah. it? what was his name? I can't remember. Like, or the, what's it say, the last person picked on a pickup oh, game? Oh, he's little as hell. Yeah, <laughs> but he's an underdog, though. He yeah. get on the court, somebody get injured, right? That man started getting injured, he gets on the court. Drop him, buckets. Oh! That's how the Lord's dealing, bro. He's dealing with the underdogs, period. The base men. Right. All right, so I'm going to get uh, sad. Yeah, man, so. You got Luke 14, 23? Yeah, I do. You got 10? All right, Luke 14, 23. This is Luke chapter 23. Uh, so like chapter 14, verse 23. Right. And the Lord said unto the, unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges uh -huh. and compel them to come in. Go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. That's what we're doing. We are compelling our people to come into the marriage. Yeah, come. You know? Bring it. You know, what's the other one that says they were sitting into the market sitting in the marketplace? Oh, I'll find it. Um, Good, there's more. Yeah, right? Your pipe in the not dance, yeah. But Salakia. I'll read that again. This is Luke chapter 14, verse 23. Yeah. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges mm -hmm. and compel them to come in, yeah. that my house may be filled. Yeah. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. Uh, is that, yeah, because the ones that was bidden, the ones that they was calling, they end up not coming. So they was, he was sent out again. You know? Right? I believe so. That's what it is. Yeah. Thing, yeah, 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 yeah. First, yeah. Yeah. that was first bit. It man. wasn't oh. worthy. It wasn't worthy. Yeah, that's the point on that. Uh, uh, go to Proverbs uh, eight and one. Then they make excuses, man. And yeah, then he was like, "Well, go get who you, whoever you can find now." Luke seven thirty two. The book of Luke seven verse thirty two. It says, "They are like unto children." What we have with the time? We have fifty two. Right. It says, Luke seven verse thirty two. They are like the children sitting in the marketplace and calling one to, one, one to another and saying, we have piped into you and ye have not danced. We have mourned into you and ye have not wept because we know that this is the new song. You know, this is the most beautiful song you can hear. So we're, we're playing the music, you know, we're playing the instruments. We, we, we the real orchestra, right? And we're playing this beautiful music, but no one's dancing to it. Everybody's just laying around. around. You know how Jake B at parties today? You know, you see different videos, JB at the parties, air, music playing, everybody just standing around. Standing around, looking. You're just looking. Ooh, can't looking you hear the how, how the men line up on the wall? You got the girls in the middle of the dance floor. Right. But just saying that our people are not piping. They're not dancing. They're not dancing. You know, and you, you, you even get the occasion, but there's another one where it says, you'll be like, uh, unto them as a beautiful song. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, because like that, like that lady that came by earlier, you know? One that played Mar uh, one, 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 one play on the history. I see you back again. It's a whole day. Hey, 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 Shalom, Shalom. Yeah, um, who was you talking about? So like, beautiful song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that young lady that came up here earlier. She's like, oh yeah, I'm a man of the Lord. Woman got, of the got, Lord. Woman, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So like, yeah, I'm a woman of the Lord. You know, slip, slip with the tongue, not with the heart. Got the blonde hair in your head from your oppressor. I think she was choosing for real, bro. She was. I think she, she was, was looking me all in my eyes and shit. I, was, yeah. I, was, I, was, I, was, I wanted I was, to ask her like, damn, where you, you got a husband? Hey, hey, so like, hey, so like, you know, it See, weird, bro. That, that's that, I was on that too, but I had to remain in the spirit and lock in life. Don't say nothing to her about that, just stay in the spirit. Because right. I wanted to say the same, because I'm a yeah, man. Bro, she was all I wanted to say, say the same thing. Like, you got a man? Because like, hey, look, we men, you know, she wasn't ugly. 
Darn. She was all looking me in the face. I'm like, look, you gonna have to look, man. I'm looking away, like, look, Shorty, you got a son, so obviously a man done dealt with you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So where he at, you know? But regardless of all that, I was listening to what she was saying. Oh, I'm a woman of the Lord. You know, this, that, and the other. I believe, I pray every day. You know, I'm glad to see y'all out here. But at the end that. of the day, when it came to the truth, I, well, she had to beat it up the block, man. Yeah, she don't know what's going on. As soon as I start, cause, hey, she was with it until I said you can't eat pork. I know it was some damn pepperoni or some sausage on that fucking pizza she had in her hand, man. She said, can I see that pizza? Right, what you got on that? You can't eat that. As soon as I said, don't eat shrimp, don't eat pork, don't eat. Hey, she, got the, she quietly walked away. Well, I guess I ain't doing one of them today. She had that sentiment, man, like, these guys are crazy. You know? What you got? Oh, man. I got it. Yeah, we won't, we won't bring that out. I want you to bring oh, Proverbs 8 and 1. This is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth, put forth her voice? She standeth in the in the top of the high places, by the way in places of paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city. Right, and that's why we're on the highways and byways where everyone at, where everyone is. Because back then, you know, all the people of importance was clear and the gates before the city. So when people was coming in, you know, they could see or hear what was happening. I mean, you know, I'm so that's where we at, man. We in the marketplace, we in the world. We see all the nations where everybody comes and goes. Shopping and everything. Right? Well, so this is what wisdom cries without. It cries out in the streets. It says, at the coming in at the door. Proverbs 1. 1 and 20. Because this is what a true wisdom is. In the streets. This is Proverbs chapter 1. Verse 20. That's another yeah, thing. I mean, that's dealing with how the Lord is dealing with uh, the foolish things of the world. You know? Uh, because we, yeah. we're, we send wisdom is on the streets. If we have an average person here that they can like, wisdom in the streets? Uh, you fools, it's crazy. Wisdom is in, wisdom is in Harvard. Or, uh, uh, you know, uh, what they say, uh, LSU. Or them nut ass colleges. Yeah, the Ivy League college. Okay. Yeah, yeah, where they indoctrinate you with their bad. I don't know where that's at. You know what I'm saying? That's where they say wisdom is at. Or the seminary. You know what I'm saying? We're not Muslim, by the way. We're, no, we're, we're Israelites. Israelites. Israel. 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 Yeah. Proverbs 1 and 20. Israel. All right. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Y'all Israel too. That's right. Go Black ahead. Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites. Babylon the Great is going to be yeah. destroyed, man. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed Proverbs. with it, man. Proverbs 1 and 20. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Right. Wisdom crieth without. Yeah. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Uh-huh. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, yep. in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words. Yeah, that's where the words are coming out, man. It's wisdom. Go ahead. The true wisdom. Go ahead. Saying, how long, O ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? Yeah, when we say to our people, how long y'all gonna be simple, man? Y'all simple as hell, man. You see? Y'all keep being, getting being into all this madness. You conduct yourself in the, in the behavior of madness. How long you gonna love simplicity? How long are you gonna love this foolish thing? Go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Read that again. And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Right. They say fools hate knowledge, man. They hate this shit. You know? This knowledge coming out. They hate it. You know? And scorners, what? They continue on their scorning. They continue with their mocking. They continue with, you know, uh, rambling for different words against the men of the Lord. It says, uh, verse 23, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. Right, that's the point on that. You see, so the Lord said, turn at my correction, man. Turn uh, at my monitoring. And who is he sending out here to do that? The men of the Lord. The Lord is not coming to your bedside, tap you on the shoulder and say, I want you to quit smoking weed. He's not doing that. Why would he get off the throne and come down here and tell you personally, I want you to put smoke? Oh, man. Luke, you Luke. <laughs> you don't want him to come to Yeah, you don't want him to come down, bro. He dropped dead, man. Luke, yeah. Luke, 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 170. The, uh, to, get, to get the point that the problem, how the problem is, the Lord, the Lord is speaking to the men of the Lord, the problem. Men nearly gave up the ghost just seeing the angels, man. Yeah, right. yeah. Bowed down, down, broke down emotionally, bowed down to the earth. My Lord, why comest thou? Man, you couldn't, you couldn't stand, bro. You could not stand the face of the, of the Most High Yahweh, man. Allah shot you, man. Terrible demon-like power, man. 
You know, it even tells you that the countenance of the angels is terrible. How much more the most high, man, when he comes down against you uh, in his wrath, man? The nation shall tremble when they see you how we're man. Yeah. Yeah, Luke 1 and 7, because the uh, Lord spoke to the prophets. 